So I had a friend of mine who has mentored me in my day job. Someone who I have a great deal of respect for came to me and asked me if I could help repair a chair that means a great deal to his wife. I immediately said yes and then got on YouTube to see what I'd gotten myself into. As you can see, the laminated wood separated right on a seam and there is additionally another break right on the footing. So the first thing I did was try and remove the seat pad to try and protect it during the process, but the age of the chair didn't allow for that. So I just have to be extra careful with any glue or stain or anything else that I use during the process. The whole purpose of me even doing this video is not instructional in nature as I've never done anything like this before but I just wanted to show any newer woodworkers like myself that if you take the time and learn a little bit and trust what you have learned during the course of your woodworking to not be afraid to take on projects like this I apologize for the angle on the camera I'm in the middle of moving some things around in my shop and haven't quite figured out a good spot for the camera my overall plan with this was to get everything lined up just like it needed to be and then I was gonna drill a hole with a countersink between the two pieces of wood and basically use a screw to act as a clamp to pull the two together and then I'll fill it uh, with a dowel So here I am, I've got everything clamped in place. I'll use an awl to mark my starter hole and I'm using a brad point bit to ensure that I get the angle that I want and that there's no walking around. I want to do everything I can to protect the existing finish on the wood and make the repair as easy to hide as possible. So after I drill out the hole and ensure that I get the proper depth on it, you'll see me adding some glue and using the screw to tighten everything up and hold it all together. So here's some good footage of my camera falling, me not noticing it, and about nine minutes of video looking at my air compressor. So the video that I didn't record because my camera fell was essentially just putting the screw in. I used some calls and some clamps to keep everything in line and keep it where I wanted it to go. This basically just shows taking the clamps off the glue up went exactly as I had hoped. And then I'll do a little bit of cleanup. I was very careful throughout the entire glue up to take care of any squeeze out before it dried using a, a towel with some water a little bit of soap um, going back and chiseling dried up glue off certainly presents a increased risk of damaging the existing finish on the piece and I certainly did not want to do that here I'm just taking my time to make sure that I get all of the glue off as much as possible. I found, oddly enough, using the scouring pad works very well. Very low chance of damage in the wood and leaving marks that I'll have to deal with later. Um, and also sometimes just a good old thumbnail, making sure that I get all of the glue off, getting a nice clean surface. Now I'm going to glue in a dowel into the countersunk area of the screw hole and after I glued it I decided 
that because I was going to have to use a flush trim saw to cut it down, I put blue tape the best I could all around the dowel itself, again, primarily just to help protect the existing finish and keep from leaving any kind of saw marks or scuffs on it. The piece is curved, which poses a little bit of a challenge with the flush cut saw, and so the little additional protection I think was well worth it. And blue tape is pretty cheap. When I picked up the chair from the client, she noted that there was one of the hole plugs missing from the back. I decided since I had the chair on my bench, I'd go ahead and replace that for her as well. Initially, I just used some half-inch roundover plugs that I had, but I realized that it wouldn't match because of the way that the chairs were actually made. So I realized I was going to have to make one myself. I actually had this little scrap of wood already in the lathe and chucked up from some other project I'd been working on and the diameter was actually almost already perfect so I just rounded it down a little bit stuck my big head in the camera rounded it down some more and got it to the diameter that I needed and did some sanding on it to get the look and feel that it needed. I wanted it to look a little rough just to kind of match the age of the other four. After some trial and error and some sanding, I finally arrived at a good stain color that I think matched it fairly well. I scuffed it a little bit so that the stain didn't quite set even so you can see that it matches fairly well with the additional one. I Put a little bit of wax finish on it after the fact so that the sheen matched a little closer to the existing one but overall i'm happy with the way that it came out and hopefully the client will be too after giving it plenty of time to dry i just cut the waste dowel off being very careful not to dig into the surrounding wood area and then after i get it trimmed up flush I come back with a small chisel do kind of a paring cut to get a nice surface on it do the best I can working with a, a dowel You can see the plug on the bottom is the original plug from when it was made. I applied some stain to the plug that I added. The client did not want a corresponding one on the other leg for symmetry, so I did my best to hide it. And here I'm just kind of cleaning up a little bit. I actually ended up using a little bit of the stain just to hide the seam a little bit better, um, kind of blend it in. I think overall it came out very nice. So I basically just went through the exact same process with the footing, just trying to find a good angle, make sure that I don't drill too far and that everything is lined up before I drill my hole. Drilling the hole before I use any glue or anything just helps make sure that the screw goes in and clamps it down exactly where I want it before I apply any glue or anything like that. The process is exactly the same. I use the same dowel. I use the same stain and hopefully it gets the rigidity that it needs because that particular area right on the footing obviously is going to be 
receiving uh, a fair amount of stress but overall the project came out very nice the client uh, seems very happy with the work and I think the main point of this is just to show new woodworkers not to be afraid to take on new challenges and just trust what you've learned and what you don't know can always be found on YouTube. Thanks for watching.